What's going on everybody? I'm out here today with Cyber and we're gonna be cooking buffalo ribs. Should be interesting, come join us. All right, Cyber's coming down here with bison ribs. Cyber, you look like barbecue Moses. Nice, barbecue Moses, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so we got a full set of bison ribs and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook them. This is a hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> A little too close. All right, everybody, so we've got a full set of bison ribs and we're gonna cook some traditionally in the Indian style. So we're just gonna be leaning them up against here with no spices or anything like that. And then we're gonna cook some with some rib rub and then we're gonna cook some with some barbecue sauce. We're gonna try it in a bunch of different ways for our own amusement and culinary enjoyment. Much is written about buffalo ribs in the historical record is it was a favorite of both natives and non-natives alike. One first-hand account was written by a traveler named Clarence E. Edwards, who spent time with the Southern Ute tribe of Colorado in the late 1800s. In reflecting on his experiences, he wrote that, quote, It is during the great fall hunt that the Indian is in his glory so far as eating is concerned. The women are occupied with the skinning and caring for the dead animals, and then it is not beneath the dignity of the warrior to do his own cooking. He is, as was said before, fully aware of each tidbit and knows exactly how he likes them cooked. Broad slabs of ribs are placed upright before a hot fire and turned and toasted to a turn. He sits up half the night cooking ribs and bones and eating to his heart's content. In August of 1887, Buffalo Bill Cody hosted what he called an Indian-style rib roast for the distinguished men of London, England. Afterwards, one newspaper wrote that, quote, Buffalo Bill's rib roast dinner was a grand success and is the talk of the town. The London Telegraph echoed such sentiments, writing that, quote, so agreeable was the rib roast that an eminent English legislator gave it as his opinion that civilization was a well-intentioned mistake. Suffice it to say, buffalo ribs were a popular delicacy for folks in the Great Plains and even beyond. As such, I'm definitely looking forward to testing this one out and seeing if this meal lives up to the historical hype. hard not to eat those right now? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's killing me. <laughs> All right, before we get started, just want to make sure that I think Heritage Bison Ranches, that is the company that uh, donated these ribs so we could test this whole theory out on these bison ribs and how good they actually are. By the way, it's the same company that we purchased the buffalo tongue from as well. Check those guys out. They're absolutely fantastic. Their meat is fantastic, and uh, we're about to dig in. Let's do it. That's real good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That is good. There's nothing on it. I know. Absolutely I know. nothing. Not, no salt, no pepper, nothing. 
This is why I'd never want to give up meat. Oh, you can't. <laughs> no. World Economic Forum telling everybody to eat, what is it, synthetic meat? Synthetic meat. Get out of here. Lab grown meat. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's interesting eating these ribs without anything on them. I don't think I've ever had ribs without anything on them. No, it almost tastes but, like there's really good steak. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, just tasting the natural flavor of it with just the wood smoke. Oh, 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 no. It's good enough that if someone just showed up randomly, I'm not sure that chair. I really like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. Cooked over the fire, like leaning up against it like it is. Like, it's still juicy. It's not dry. I mean, like, if you can hear any of the, the you know, when I'm pulling on it, it's crispy on the outside, but I actually like the contrast between the crispy outside yep. and then the tender inside. Just so you guys know, we know that you can put it in tin foil. There's a million different ways to cook ribs, but that's not what we're testing. We're not testing out how good can you make these ribs. We're testing out how good are they when cooked in the traditional Indian fashion. Yeah. And they're, they're really damn good. They are. Even without anything on them. I just like eating meat off the bone anyway. Yes. Yep. Something primal about it that resonates. <laughs> Round two. So on this one, we're going to be trying the prime rib rub first, and then we'll switch to the prime rib rub plus barbecue. Let's see what we got. Let's do it. All right. Prime rib rub first. Oh, man. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. some good meat. Yeah, and I think we expected it. On its mm -hmm. own, it's good. Just smoked over the fire, yep. it's good. So as you start adding spices, and this isn't a complicated rib rub. Salt, pepper, garlic, rosemary, a little bit of paprika. You add that in there, man, that's solid. What do you think, Cyber? That's freaking amazing. You taking a breath over there? No, nope. no, nope. just inhaling. I just gotta say, how nice is it to eat something and then toss the bone into a fire? Yeah. Satisfying. It is. It's like urinating outdoors. <laughs> yep. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, you don't have to worry about. I, I, my wife thinks I'm crazy when I say that. Like one of the best things when we got our place up in the mountains was going outside, just peeing off the balcony at night. Yep. There's nobody out there, it's just yeah. liberating. It's weird to think that we don't just pee outside all the time. Right. It's the little things, right? right. Peeing outside and being able to throw your bone in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they can even see me. Can you see me through this smoke? Barbecue. Now I know from this perspective, it's an optical illusion. It makes me look significantly larger than cyber. It's not true though. <laughs> In case anybody's wondering, I like how my napkin doesn't really cover anything. No. It is like <laughs> it's just this ridiculous the, fashion accessory. The microphone. It's, yeah, it's just it's an ascot. It covers the microphone. <laughs> that's that's actually the one thing it's not supposed to cover. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we're gonna try the barbecue now. Really pumped about this one. So this one's got not just the barbecue sauce, but it's got the prime rib rub under the barbecue sauce, been smoked over the fire for hours. <sighs> yeah. I'm really pumped about it. Yeah. I'm really pumped about it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Even better. You got layers of flavor mm -hmm. going on here. Mm. I thought you had eaten all yours. I was like, good gracious, Cyber. <laughs> Didn't even get anything on film. I didn't think we'd eat a whole rack of ribs. I know. Two racks of ribs. <laughs> I didn't think we'd eat two racks of I didn't think we'd eat a whole buffalo. Right. <laughs> the only thing I think it could have been like, made it even like a little bit sweeter mm -hmm. is if you had actually hunted the buffalo yeah. You know, taking the ribs out and like in the cold of winter, like that would like. You hear that heritage bison ranches? Yeah. If only I had hunted the buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have sauce all over my face. No, you're good. No? No. We'll edit it out. Yeah. It's funny to think that in like 
100 years from now, 200 years from now, they're gonna do like an archeological dig at this site. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like, there were a couple guys here eating bison right. in they, like 2022. Did they hunt it? This is an ancient site, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it, don't touch it. Out of all of them, I mean, it's to be expected, but out of all of them, yeah. the prime rib road with barbecue sauce. Yes, come on. hands down. I'm pumped that we tried straight up buffalo smoked over fire. I've always wanted to try it, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a lot of primary sources talking about it. So I'm glad we got an opportunity to try it. It's also cool to see, you know, with very little work, how good you can actually make it. And I know yeah. that there are pit bosses out there who could do even more oh, amazing yeah. stuff with this, right? But for two guys who don't know what they're doing, no. to cook no. it and for it to taste this well, it's really good. And it's a different good than the like the tongue with this stuff on it. Like that was a really good, but like it's almost like a delicacy good. Like yeah. you wouldn't want a ton of it. You wouldn't want a tongue of it. A tongue of it. <laughs> yeah, the tongue is more like, like I said, like a delicacy. Like it's like something that you have every once in a while. This I order every week. All right, that's it. Cyber and I have finished up the ribs. That was really good. That was really good. I like testing these recipes. I like seeing what's what. You know, and they're different, yeah. right? Like like you were saying, the ribs obviously are very different from the tongue. And yeah. it's gonna be cool to test some other things out and see uh, yeah. see kind of how they stack up. I loved it. It was delicious. Absolutely. I definitely, definitely Hands down. Again. Anytime. Yeah. All right, man. As they say, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh, I covered up my microphone again. <laughs> If you folks enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you want to further support my efforts, you can do so on Patreon or buy some gear for the Modern Frontier for the Man vs. History Outfitter Shop. Got a bunch of new designs in there. Go take a look. Support the channel. Before I go, I just want to make sure that I thank my Patreon patrons. A special thank you to The Innocents, Ashley Gertensen, Hurton Wade, Man vs. Mooks, Bryce B, Cyber, Will S. Baker, Rick Christensen, Comrade Krieger, Sean Hatfield, Blake Graham, PBC 98, Joshua Horton, Archie Dak, Dawson E, Zonk Breezes, Noah Ovens, David Perkins, Sneaky Ninja, Noah 5943, Jigsaw, Your Pal Mitch, Coco Rockout, Occam's Ghost, Reese Yearby, Ari Bacalers, Mythical B60, and Gavin Abernathy. Also want to make sure that I thank my silver and bronze tier patrons. Thank you both for all your support. Let's keep growing. Let's keep doing what we're doing. See you all.